<laughs> Greetings and welcome to another Blurbs video. And yeah, this right here. <laughs> ah, look at it. This is an Apple Macintosh PowerBook G3. And in particular, I believe this is a model from 1998. And this was recently donated to the LGR collection of machines. And I had never used one of these before. In fact, I still haven't. I haven't turned it on. Uh, hopefully it works. It was sent to me as like a working unit. It's in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, if you saw my unboxing video, then you saw briefly where I was <laughs> amused by these little hot swappable bays. I mean, I'm assuming they're hot swappable. I don't know. You can swap things out. So I've covered like the, uh, the Gateway Solo laptop that allowed you to do some similar things. And you know, there were a bunch of laptops that did that, but the overall design of this one, it appeals to me. I, I like the, uh, the look of it. Pretty much everything, except for, you know, using it. I haven't used it yet. So we're gonna do that. Just see if it powers on. I really hope it does. Uh, it does have the original power supply, so that's good. <laughs> Needs a little bit of a cleaning. And you know, the hinge is, it is what it is. Typical. But yeah, um, in terms of like the specs, no, oh, I showed them in the unboxing, but let me show them again. Uh, well, you can kind of see here. <laughs> Yeah, 233 megahertz power PC G3 risk processor. Mmm. 14.1 inch active matrix XGA color display, 4 megs of video memory, S video and VGA output. That's nice. 32 megs of RAM. Don't know how much is actually installed. Same for the hard disk, you know, 2 gigs is what it probably has. And, you know, removable PC card slots, card bus support, CD ROM. Yeah. Yeah, 10 base T Ethernet. Don't know what version of OS, Mac OS it has. Uh, I think originally it would have had OS 8 point, uh, I'm gonna say 8.1, but I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I've used a lot of Macs from this era-ish, but never one of these in particular. And there's like so many weird little variants of the PowerBook G3 that I don't, I don't know exactly which one this is, except that it's uh, 233 megahertz. <laughs> so um, anyway, let me get the power supply real quick. I actually already have it plugged into the back. And yeah, look at this. That to me is just an appealing little rounded off design. Ye. Okay. Oh, it's doing things. Maybe uh, just the fans. Yeah. That's that. So where is the power? Right here. Nice. Well, that's good. <laughs> See if we get a display. Mm. Please work. Ah, wow. It's, it's very dim, to my eyes anyway, and maybe it'll brighten up later. Or the backlighting bulbs and such are just a little dim, because yeah, it's, it's really, feels about half as bright as it should be to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just how this is. Alrighty. See what version it is. All sorts of little thingies loading up here. Nice responsive trackpad. <laughs> no, it is not 12.01 AM. I'm assuming the internal battery is just not going, but uh, yeah, pretty bare bones version of Mac OS here. Let's see what we got. We got... Oh, 8.5.1. So I don't know if that's upgraded from what it originally had or not. Like I said, I think this is a 1998 model. The G3s were introduced in 97, but I believe this one was slightly after the initial launch. Uh, so 
who knows? But yeah, it's got all this kind of stuff on here. Wow, check that out. What is this? I'll be honest. I've never used, like I said, a PowerBook. I've never used a Mac laptop that's, like I have a newer iMac, whatever, uh, the, the Pro, MacBook Pro. But not like an older, like OS 8 or anything like that. So I don't know what this is. Like I know there's the bar down here, but it's like a cool little battery indicator thingy. <laughs> That's neat. This is cool too. Battery conservation and performance. All right. What is this? Spin down hard disk. Wow. Location manager. Oh, that's cool. So it shows which modules are in there. Right module is removable. Left bay contains a battery. Did it. Yeah, because I pulled this out a second ago and I didn't feel like it clicked back in place. Let's just see if it does. Okay, it did something. Well, maybe it just says it's removable. Either way, that's cool that it says kind of what's in the bays. Thousands of colors. So we got 16-bit, 1024 by 768. Ah, there's no printers. Remote access, I get our sound. That's nice and loud. Not seeing anything in terms of brightness though, so let me just uh just double check here. I keep one to tap, it's not like that. Okay, so no huh, no brightness, I guess. Oh, that's volume. Wow, it is on max brightness, so it's just kind of dim. I mean, it looks okay. I do have a bunch of bright white lights on in here, but... Eh, it's a little bit dimmer than I would prefer, but eh, you know what? I mean, it's a nice, clean-looking thing. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not seeing any, like, busted-up weirdness or, like, discoloration or dead pixels or any, any of that nonsense. Uh, let, me, let me zoom in just a bit here, because, yeah... You know what? I'm going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's that. Let me see if it recognizes a compact disc read-only memory. Uh, let's run. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've got these here for this. Let's run Quake for the Macintosh. Uh, because... From what I remember seeing of the advertising of this, this was sold as kind of like a Pentium killer. Like, you know, oh, screw the Pentium 2. We got the, we got the G3, you know? Yeah. They had, they had like sharks. <laughs> like sharks in the advertising. I don't know why. I don't remember exactly. You know, mid to late 90s Apple, what you gonna do? So let's see if this works. Hopefully we'll see a little drive pop up here it is trying to read so that's good i just didn't see it yeah hey quake oh dude yes so let's see how this baby runs quake 233 megahertz should be plenty assuming 3d acceleration I don't know what kind of uh, rave. Is that a Mac thing? I cer certainly don't have 3D effects. <laughs> Let's just go with software, I guess. And we've got. Yeah, just stick it on there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind of chipset, like in terms of graphics, these were using back then. I, we saw there's a 4 megabyte SG RAM uh, on the box there, so I guess it has that. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, actually, I, I did want to check the RAM. Did I see earlier? I'm sure we saw earlier, but I just didn't notice. I think it said 32 megs. And the hard disk, I didn't check that either. We'll check it after it installs. Because, yeah, I'm curious if this has been updated or upgraded or, or whatever. Because um, I believe the RAM was pretty easy to upgrade on these from when I was looking around on the back there and, like, hard disk too. So, uh... <laughs> Back in the day, Apple wasn't as stingy with the upgrades on certain things anyway. Okay. Suggest you restart your computer. Well, yeah. It's installing extensions or something. 
So let's see here. 1.6 gigs available. So yeah, that is a 2 gig drive. That's awesome. Just double check. See, it is 32 and it is. Built-in memory. Nifty. So let's uh, restart and try some Quake. Anybody else get the uh, the Quake soundtrack on vinyl recently uh, on the Nine Inch Nails web store? Uh, yeah, they, they, they got it there. Or at least they did last time I checked, or maybe it sold out. I don't know. Anyway, Quake soundtrack on vinyl. Pretty psyched to get that. Yeah, I think I'm getting used to the screen now. It's actually not terribly dark. It certainly looks brighter on camera. Um, in fact, it may be flickering a little. <laughs> if that's the case, then my apologies. Um, sometimes these have, like, CFL lights in the back, and they kind of me do things when I have it set to a shutter speed of 60, or, you know, anything even close to it. I don't know. It looks okay in my viewfinder. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, yeah, Quake soundtrack and vinyl. Can't wait. Um, curious how it'll sound. It's a rather industrial soundtrack, but I have, a, like, the entire Nine Inch Nails discography on vinyl, so those sound good. I'm sure Quake will sound good, too. Anyway. All right, so let's see here. Installed it to here. Gonna make an alias for the desktop. It deserves to be there. Oh, it's playing it. That's just what happens on these things. Auto plays CD audio. Uh, unlike all my classic Macs of this era, uh, you could probably turn it off, but yeah, <laughs> it is it is a thing. Anyway, Quake. <laughs> this will be different. I haven't played Quake on a Mac in a long time. Dude, loading pretty quick. And it's monochrome. What is this? The sound won't turn down. Oh no! <laughs> What's going on? Okay, for one thing, it's in monochrome, <laughs> and it's really loud, so... Okay, what's going on here? I wonder if it's because I have it in higher colors here. Let's put it on 256. Because that can definitely screw up some games, I guess. Quake would be a 2 Yeah, there it is. Okay, well... Dude, that is running phenomenally well, all things considered. You know, software mode and such. Uh, there's no sound now. <laughs> well. Oh, dude. It's pretty awesome. I don't have auto run on, so I gotta hold down shift. That's not jump. <laughs> Keyboard quake controls now. Oh, I got the mouse here, but okay. Oof. Yeah, I know I can jump across, man. Oh my word. There we go. Well, yeah, we'll just we'll just do arrow keys and <laughs> why not? All right, so this runs fantastic. Let's try to see if we can max it out. Interesting. Yeah, it just brings this up. Reminds me of the uh, the port of Duke 3D. Actually, did Mac? Yeah, MacSoft did that as well. So it might be using some of the same whatever. Uh, okay. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay. So let's try this. And I'm gonna turn on Always Run. Oh, 
Yep. Why I didn't that save? Probably because I didn't hit OK here. Oh, it's tiny. Okay. How, how about this? Oh, no. I just want it, like, right here. Okay, well, this is this. But that's what I was doing, effectively. Eh. Why? Well, still, it's running pretty good. Well, it looks like it, it runs quite fantastically well. If you know why the screen isn't doing what it's supposed to, uh, let me know. And I'm sure I can fix the video at some point in the future. Uh, let's try something else here. Oh, one other thing, since I got it right here, and it's one of my favorites. GS Jackrabbit 2 for Mac. Ugh. This weird box. It's all in there. Mm-hmm. Game sprockets. Sound manager. Eh, Quake. I'm sure if I change, like, the desktop resolution or some kind of scaling, stretching something option, it would have done it. But uh, I'll fix that another time. This is blurbs. Fixing things is not really what I do here. <laughs> Input sprocket alert. An older item named input sprocket CH already exists. Oh. Do you wish to replace it with the item from the installer? <laughs> oh. I, I don't know. Just skip that, I guess. <laughs> Sprockets. Oh man. Input sprockets. So I guess it already has that. Okay, just dang Siri, proto Siri pronouncing things wrong for decades. <laughs> Sprokex. Well, can't turn that down either. Dean Dodrill, man. I'm fond of the shareware demo. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this laptop runs things well. <laughs> I have no doubt it would have given a Pentium 2 a run for its money. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, this is uh, running very well, and this game is still awesome. Hopefully it was on camera okay. Anyway. This computer works! And it seems to be working fantastically at that. So, uh, just excellent. <laughs> it's got the box. I don't know if it's 100% complete in the box, but, you know, it's got a lot of stuff in there. Um, yeah, some some boring-looking CDs and stuff, but it didn't come with any games. I, I, I don't even know, <laughs> did, did Apple ever bundle, like, uh... Anything fun with computers back then? Like any little demo games or even like kids things? Seems like every PC did in the 90s. Anyway, uh, whatever. I got Quick and Jazz too. <laughs> Who needs anything else? 
And that's pretty much it for this blurb, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to do like a review on this, like a full thing covering this or not. I don't know. I'm just happy to have it. I'm just very psyched to have it, you know, uh, show up as an offer in my inbox. Me like, hey, do you want this? And yes. So uh, thank you once again for sending it over. And thank you for watching.